What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 2 of my Manchester United Youth Academy Project Series in FIFA 18 career mode. Make sure you leave a big thumbs up on this episode if you're excited for this series. So these are some of the players we have got in the latest uh, scouting update. We didn't sign them up. Even though there was a guy with minimum potential of 75, you're going to see as we go through, these are the guys that we already have in the youth squad, that minimum potential that's in the high 70s. My requirement for the most part, there will be some exceptions on certain occasion, depending on their position and a lot of different other things, but I'll be looking around minimum potential of 77, 78 to sign them up and also for them to stay in the youth team as well, because you know the ratings updates every month, uh, the overalls, yeah, there'll be different requirements, but yeah, just to get a gauge, I suppose, for you guys, Marcus Rashford, it's really interesting in the recent update that he's a left midfielder, obviously playing that position in real life but I've always seen him as a striker and it's kind of, they're kind of doing the same they did to Martial because obviously before Martial came to Manchester United he was more of a striker so now developing more to a wide player I suppose that's how he's being molded so yeah that's going to be interesting because they still both have striker attributes so we'll keep that in mind if we ever need to play them there so yeah if you're new to the series and see the first episode we're not going to be making any signings so technically being realistic uh, this first season we're not going to get a whole squad through of youth players of course but over the next couple months you'll see some guys being added to the youth team and some maybe actually being signed up to the first team as well so let's get into the first match against West Ham First game, always a special game. He's certainly a special player. It should be a special match, and it's live. Welcome to you all. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler, and welcome to you all to Premier League football again. The opening game coming right up. Today's game, Manchester United against West Ham United. And here we go to kick off the season against West Ham. We have an early chance. That was a good opportunity for Ibra there, but couldn't quite get the shot away. Uh, Lindelof is going to be playing a lot of games at centre-back. He's going to be starting a lot uh, with the likes of, as I mentioned, Rashford, Martial, Gomez as well, who's a little bit younger than those lads. Uh, but these are the real players, I suppose, that's going to be part of the future uh, part of the youth academy project we have here in this series uh, the younger guys obviously there could be a few others we'll just have to see how they develop so before half time here we couldn't quite get the breakthrough even with Ibra there he's had a couple of half chances uh, but not uh, quite good enough to get a clear shot on goal or anything like that so yeah you might see that sometimes in the first day of the new season uh, we may have the possession there we had a few chances of course we are restricting West Ham but we haven't got the breakthrough just yet but Lukaku plays it through to Alexis Sanchez on his debut could he get that debut goal for Manchester United and Alexis does exactly that and the fans go absolutely wild did you see how they were rushing there uh, towards him and to him to have that celebration there in front of the fans is absolutely a perfect way to kick off the season uh, the fans look absolutely pumped and just take a look a bit of their uh, just that quick movement from that defender just to yeah, move that dribbling just that ball control away from that man so he couldn't get the tackle in and he's able to make the finish Alexis Sanchez so that was the solitary goal of the game we brought Gomez on late uh, we had to change his number obviously it's not his updated number in the game we'll change the 47 but yeah apart from that goal we didn't uh, do too much we didn't have so many quality chances uh, but after Alexis's goal uh, we were able to hold them off and he was a star player for the game uh, no doubt with that 9.4 rating but also we were solid uh, defensively that is for sure it's always good to keep a clean sheet at the first day of the season the first game of the season the fans have some confidence uh, in the team defensively thinking we can have a good season uh, obviously i want to score more goals and hopefully you'll see that come uh, but we'll just head to the squad hub now uh, we did want to change his number and maybe in the future we could give him like when he's like, one of the best players in the team uh, we give him a number 10 something like that what do you think uh, once he becomes like a really really good player in a few seasons please let me know what you think but definitely that number 10 could but you don't know which 
regions we have with scatter players like these could be very, very good. And talk about very, very good. I would say that's a very, very good training session. Minimum Bs. Uh, but it's always good to uh, get those A's and B's a good development uh, through those training sessions. I always hate getting a D or an F. <laughs> it just it hardly improves. So here we're going to simulate, as I mentioned in the first episodes uh, previously, we are going to simulate a lot of games in this first season so we can get through it quickly because it's still yeah the majority of the first team in real life like not the point of this series so hopefully you get what i mean so there sometimes we'll get an f i think there was four there he got an f and then at least gomez got another a so that's pretty good at least one of them got an a <laughs> but yeah you're gonna see there with the transfer offers that we're just all blocking them all blocking them right now we're not intending to sell any players until we actually get some youth players through to the first team but you'll see that coming uh throughout the whole season that's why i said get into it pretty quickly get into the season proper not just be stagnant at the start of the season you know what i mean but the spanish scouting update we didn't really get too many that were good but sebastian torres uh, was a goalkeeper minimum potential of 75 uh, that's why i talked about it. depends on their position and stuff i think that's good enough for a keeper i thought he could maybe be the next De Gea. then just showing you borthwick jackson there those type of players like maybe what do you think we could train him up a little bit as well and he could potentially be a first team player because i want to use those guys the guys that are young at manchester united with potential but if they're young and they don't have good potential there's no point to keep them just because they're young doesn't mean they're going to be part of this story you know but anyway we'll get straight into the game against leicester city uh, pogba's on the ball he's trying to create something for us early lukaku gets it back to him i thought he was offside for a second there and that was kind of part of the reason i blazed away a little bit with pogba i still tried to score but try to put a lot of power in it honestly thought they were going to call offside to be honest but again it is a game we haven't scored in the first half unless we get a late one here but the ref calls time on the first half there so yeah now we're going to have to yeah, go in as a manager with the team talk fire up the lads could Alexis Sanchez do it again he hasn't had a shot yet that was the same case as the previous game and then he made the impact but still yeah we haven't really made the breakthrough so we are going to make some changes they've got a corner and we're going to go ultra attacking see if we can get a counter here uh, we can't quite there unfortunately De Gea will grab that though and we stop that attack and if you take a look at the top left we are making some more changes and we still haven't quite got the breakthrough but now it's Gomez on the ball to set up Ibrahimovic uh, can he turn no he passes away to Luke Shaw who gets it uh, back to Lingard now he plays it through to Martial we're going very very close but unfortunately Anthony Martial ran out of room and last inside the last 10 minutes of the game we still not Oh, we still haven't been able to get the breakthrough, but we do get a free kick. This could be one of the final chances in the game. Ibrahimovic, he's got a good stance, but Pogba, I can score with him. And I show that there. Paul Pogba with a great finish. It could prove to be the winner here. And yeah, we were kind of just passing around. The last 15 minutes, we had chances like that and not being able to get the breakthrough. So it was good we kind of won that free kick. I felt I had to try at least win a free kick and maybe I could score today. And that could be the breakthrough. And the wall didn't jump. I don't think it would have made a difference still, but that was an absolutely perfect penalty. Uh, like I said, Ibra has a different stance to Pogba. Pogba has kind of that default one, uh, which I'm pretty confident in scoring. If I took it the same kind of power and direction with Ibra, it would have been a bit different. Like I've already tried that as well. But again, we are going to get another one nil. We haven't been smashing the goals in just yet, uh, but that generally happens at the start of a career mode for me. I'm never at my best right away. But the fact that we're picking up three points is a good thing. Uh, we're still <laughs> what, getting one goal. It's enough to get the three points. And as we go on the season, I start to score more. That is just natural for me in career mode in a new series, of course. Uh, but we were happy uh, to pick up another victory. Three points is all that matters at this point in the season, of course. Uh, so now another training session is going to be available. So, of course, we've won the first three. Uh, we won the simulated one as well. So, guys, we're going to... Uh, at this moment in time, I was actually thinking, oh, we were training Gomez like five sessions. But now what do we do? Do we keep it like this? Because, obviously, I want to be training 
the guys we scout a lot because they're going to be the forefront of this series, of course, even though guys like Gomez uh, will be crucial. Like I, I like to put guys, I suppose, Gomez, Rashford, they kind of fit under that category as well, we'll say, of a Manchester United Youth Academy player. So, yeah, obviously, like, Martial came across. But, yeah, we're still going to... We're not going to... That doesn't mean I'm not going to sell Martial. He's going to be a class player. I think that'll be a bad move. But these are the guys we have currently in the U squad. We've got three decent players. Unfortunately, we have got no attackers. So, we'll be hoping to get some through at the moment. Like, right now, we've got two centre-backs and a keeper. Which is not bad. It's like we're building. Building from the back. Hey, that's not a bad thing. Uh, Gomez, he's gone plus three for the season. So, that is good to see. Lindelof, key. Rashford, key. I'm just like <laughs> ticking off these players that will be part of it. Rashawn Williams, he was mentioned by someone that he could play multiple positions in defense. So, maybe he could be one if I train up. Maybe. We'll have to see. I actually don't know his potential in the game. Because uh, I think he would have been in a recent update, I think. But... Because I, I don't think I had him in my first career mode I did at the start of FIFA 18 with United. But, hey, he can be a good player. At least he didn't stand out to me anyway uh, because he is 18. And, obviously, uh, we have got Chong as well. Let me know if you should... Uh, you, you wanting to be want to be seeing Chong in the first team at this point in the season, or do I just train him a bit more? Should I just involve him in the training, try and get his attributes a bit up? Uh, should I try and involve him in the same way I'm doing Gomez, like bringing off the bench? And when cups come around, yeah, he'll get some game time, especially Capital One Cup. And again, even Fellaini, we're just going to block all offers. Uh, I think that'll be the best best decision until we actually. Uh, bring those guys into the first team, as I did mention. So, yeah, transfer deadline day. We didn't really pay much interest to this, and not much happened for us anyway, or well, not much was going to happen. Uh, Royce, you can see, signed for Arsenal. That is a big move, obviously, uh, considering the signings, other signings Arsenal made. Mahrez goes to Barca. So, yeah, some pretty decent moves. See, I always find those, I always see them as interesting. I meant, I mentioned this is in, in another video as well, in a career mode series. Like, some people, like, that watch YouTube videos with YouTube series, see it as unrealistic, but I see it as interesting because it changes from, from something from real life, you know what I mean? So I just find them as interesting. So And, and for me, it's like a challenge with Marco Royce at Arsenal is going to make Arsenal harder to defend against, obviously, as well. So we're going to finish off this episode uh, with another scouting report. This is from France, and we are actually going to sign up Patrice Balcour now as he does look good enough to my <laughs> expectations. And here we do have a few guys we're going to leave when they do have that low minimum of 70. Uh, we will leave them there for a few months or maybe just one more month like in the case of Valcourt as well but that currently to end this episode is what our youth squad is looking like and this is still at the very very beginning like three league games into the season yeah what do you think about our youth squad so far make sure uh, you let me know make sure you like make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so yet and I will see you guys in the very next video